absolutely brilliant at times. He has blown Baez away. Six love, six one, six three. And you can see why some feel this could be his fortnight here in Melbourne. Almost perfect performance. Can't have played too many better matches at Grand Slam level than that. Sinner through to round four. That was brilliant performance from Sinner. Right from the start, the way that he was striking the ball from the back of the court, the amount that he got forward and how successful he was at the net, served well. Got on to Baez's serve, particularly in the first couple of sets. I mean, credit to Baez, he never went away. Really stuck at it and did have some opportunities to, to get a break in that third set, unable to convert. He couldn't really have done too much more today, given the way that Sinner was playing. Sinner will be pleased to have got through that one in under two hours. Yeah, it must be mixed feelings, mustn't it? He's, he's played OK, I think, but he's just run into a guy who is... Well, already one of the best in the world. Who knows what Yannick Sinner is going to achieve in the years to come. He has to have numerous Grand Slams in him, surely. Perhaps a world number one ranking. You never know what's around the corner, do you? But the way he's been developing and improving and the sort of individual he is, his dedication to the sport, skill set he brings to tennis. He's quite a player. And I think we're about to hear him talk to Jim Courier, which should be fun. Yannick, that was really impressive. You've played Sebastian before. Last year wasn't that long ago, and that was a three-set battle you had to fight hard for. Today it was a little more one-way traffic. What was different about today's match? What did you do a little bit better? Yeah, I felt like I was returning much better. Um, the conditions are a little bit different. We played in Shanghai. The ball is a little bit lower here. Uh, it, it, it bounces a little bit higher, so I tried to let it bounce. And um, But I think in general I played really well, and uh, I feel great here. Thanks, everyone, for the support. Um, it's, it's, uh, I played... I played now three times at 12, so in Italy is is two in the in the night. But thanks also to them who are who are watching from home also. So it's a it's a good pleasure. All right, that was the nicest way I've ever heard anyone ask Tennis Australia to play a little later, so your family could watch. That was awesome. Um, you had a little different off season than most because Italy won the Davis Cup. You didn't come and play a tournament early here. Do you feel maybe more fresh physically and mentally having taken that extra week off? Yeah, for sure. It, it is a little bit different, but um, we uh, we made a, a good priority for the off season. We we tried to work hard, especially in the uh, also off the court. And I'm really happy how how I'm feeling right now. Obviously, the matches is always a little bit different. Um, I have to see how I react. Uh, also in the next rounds, but I think in general it, uh, it, it is a different choice. We, we play a couple of matches in Kuyong to have this match feeling a little bit and coming here. Um, so at the moment I'm going, I'm going well. You told Wally Masur, who interviewed you after your last match, that you kind of wish you had a Baywatch body, a little bit more muscle, right? I mean, honestly, you you got plenty of muscle. When you hit the ball, the sound that comes off of it is, is really strong. So if it's not the muscle, it must be your racket. Yeah, you have the racket pretty good? <laughs> yes, it is. It is. <laughs> okay. So I want you to do me a favor. I need a new racket. Could you help me, like, show me your racket? Take me through what this equipment is, because it's got to be the racket. It's like with Michael Jordan, it was the shoes. With you, it's the racket, right? So is this, so standard tennis rackets are 27 inches long. Is this a normal racket? If I went and bought this off the shelf, would this be the one I get, or do you customize it? <laughs> Secrets, guys. <side. laughs> um... <laughs> No, it is honestly. It's uh, many players. They ask me what what with what racket I play. I think it's a really normal racket, to be honest. <laughs> um, 
Honestly, if I'm honest with you, I don't know even the... You keep saying honest, which just tells me you're lying. That's all, all you're doing is lying here. Come clean, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know the states of, of the records, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this gray material right here? I know what it is, but tell the fans. Let's get a close up on the racket. You can see this little strips here. And this, and this is a little bit of weight. Um, but if you put it here in the middle of the racket, it, give, it gives you a little bit of stability, I guess. Um, <laughs> and, but I, I didn't change the racket now for three, four years. I, I don't want to change at the moment. We, we tried a couple of other strings, um, but it's, it's a really normal racket. I, I so it's, it says it's number four. It says it's strong. Is this right? 28 kilograms? Is that right? Yes, 28. If not, I, I, I play here on the Kia if, if, it's, uh, if it's less. So. 28 is pretty tight yeah. for, for the tour these days. A lot of players are more in the 24, 25 range. Yeah. Why do you like it tight for control? Yeah, because I'm a bit scared to play, to play long if it's, uh, if it's not strung that tight. So I prefer higher kilos and, and a little bit more. Uh, more speed, what I can produce. Uh, if not, I really I play all, all out, so it's uh, it's good. And also, I like to play without wind. It's it's good. So today was no wind. Um, I don't really have to think about how how I have to play. So finally, we got to some honesty. You don't like the wind. Well, honestly, that was some amazing tennis. Great job, Yannick Center. Here's your racket. Well, that was a different post-match interview. Very entertaining. Get a sense of his uh, personality, don't you? Humble guy, hard worker. And he's on uh, the right path here in Melbourne, that's for sure. Into the last 16. We'll be seeing more of Yannick Sinner in a couple of days' time against Hachanov or Mahach.